happiness is just being able to watch growth, growth in relationships, growth in art, growth in, in culture. Um, just being able to build relationships with different people and different friends and seeing how much they've grown and how much our relationship has grown. Seeing um, the culture that we've created in our in our hometown and seeing how it's starting to grow and, and bud into something amazing. That's That's happiness to me. Now that I'm older, I'm trying to give this back to the young people that I see, give them that experience to create something of their own, for them to be proud of what they're creating. I, I travel to just garner experience so I could bring it back and share it with the young people that I work with on an everyday basis. for them to put our name up there. Yeah. I've been yeah, excited man, about that. <laughs> we got a big deal for us. Keith has to get photos of this. Yeah. So. <laughs> she, she's working on it. Okay. We'll wait. Okay. So, about a month ago, we took the challenge of visually decoding happiness for TEDx. Yes. Oh, there we go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, all right. So <laughs> I'm sure you all are wondering like, what brought us two together. See, our relationship is like Pinky and the Brain. You know, me being the brain, of course, you know? So, <laughs> yeah. Working with Juwan is like working with the love child of Doogie Howser and Bill Cosby. So. <laughs> all right, all right. But three years ago in 20 Fell Projects, this probably being our 21st, honestly. <laughs> we was faced with the daunting task of decoding happiness visually. Initially, we decided to get strangers' stories, hear what they had to say, walk up to anybody we saw and just say, hey, if you had the dictionary and you got to rewrite it, what would you say happiness is? And um, uh, Yeah, a lot of people aren't happy. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so, so we, we reformulated, we got it together, we was like, okay, how about we pull all the movers and shakers in Savannah, sit them down, put a camera in front of them, ask them to decode happiness. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, they're not that happy all the time. <laughs> um, you'd be shocked. So we were hanging out at Juwan's house. We went on blogs. We actually looked for inspirational quotes because we weren't happy anymore. <laughs> um, and. We found a quote that made a lot of sense to us. It said, happiness is a habit, not a destination. So we had to stick to what we knew, you know, our daily habits, what, what got us going. So we found that. We found that through our mentors. See, about a year ago, we worked on a project with Catherine Sando and Matt Habermill. It was for a Kickstarter that they did. And we didn't know them all that well. It was a wonderful opportunity. We went. We were very excited about it. And throughout that year, we built one hell of a relationship with them. And Really, that was who our happiness was once we really thought about it. So, see with Catherine, she translated her community and her surroundings into painting. I myself translate my experiences into photographs. And Matt works with his friends on various street art projects, and that's something that I can relate to. I work with all my friends all the time. That guy over there with the camera and um, this guy on stage with me. And that's basically how we connected. Matt varies on different projects with his friends. He did the Miracle on 34th Street. He did the Before I Die Wall, and that was something that was very admirable to me. Catherine, on the other hand, she brought the community around. Pretty much everyone that I've known in the community has came from that one relationship. So that has garnered a happiness for me. So with that, we had our aha. <laughs> Through building healthy relationships, usually with people that you admire and respect, that brings happiness to you. So, 
here we go. We have um, a video treat for you all. This basically lets you know what um, our mentors do for us, Pastor and Matt. So, yeah. Please Thank enjoy. You. Thank you, guys. What is happiness and how do I define that? Um, thinking about that, I think about the times I'm the happiest the most is when I'm surrounded by friends and there's a phrase I come up with or I've come up with in my life where I've been so blessed to have so many great people in my life and you know we're not always in the same place at the same time but when we could get a chance to meet up in different places and so I, I have this phrase called familiar faces in unfamiliar places and that's when I go someplace else or someone comes to visit me and, and it's just people that you know I haven't seen in a while and we pick up right where we left off and that's when I'm the happiest and that defines happiness to me. also to celebrate it by commissioning it and by living with it. And that pursuit, the challenge of defining on the canvas um, the place that I live, there has been pleasure in that. <laughs> Sit, days, great, sit, dog. 